Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us let A equals to the matrix given to us is 1 minus 2 alpha. Next is alpha 2 minus 1. And the matrix B it is given to us as 2 alpha minus 1 2 4 minus 5. And they have also told us that alpha belongs to C that is complex numbers. Now the question tells us the absolute value of sum of all the values of alpha. So we have been asked to find the absolute value of sum of all the values of alpha for a condition that is given to us so that says that determinant of matrix A into B should be equal to 0. So we have to find out all the values of alpha first, then we have to find the sum of that and then the absolute value of that for this condition which is given to us that is determinant of A into B is equal to 0. So if I figure out first of all the matrix A into B, A matrix is given to us as 1 minus 2 alpha alpha 2 minus 1 and the B matrix it's given to us as 2 alpha minus 1 2 and 4 minus 5. Now what I understand from this is if I solve this idea I get multiplication of matrices as 1 into 2 which is 2 minus 1 into minus 2 which is again 2 and 4 alpha. Second if I find out 1 into alpha which is alpha minus 4 and minus 5 alpha. Third, if I try to figure out alpha into 2 which is 2 alpha, 2 into minus 1 which is minus 2, minus 1 into 4 which is minus 4. Next, alpha into alpha, alpha square, 2 into 2, 4, minus 1, minus 5, so plus 5. So we get this matrix A into B as 4 plus 4 alpha, Alpha minus 5 alpha is minus 4 alpha. So minus 4 minus 4 alpha. The next entry 2 alpha minus 6. And the last one alpha square plus 9. So these are the four terms that I have here. Now the question tells me that you find the condition where determinant of A into B is equal to 0. So if I figure out determinant of 4 plus 4 alpha minus 4 minus 4 alpha. 2 alpha minus 6 and alpha square plus 9 equals 0. So what I can do from here is if I take out minus 1 common for the second term, I can have it same as my first term. And the next two terms if I write it down 2 alpha minus 6 and alpha square plus 9. The determinant of that is equal to 0. Now if I try to figure out this term 4 plus 4 alpha, I can just take out it as common. So 4 plus 4 alpha determinant 1 minus 1 2 alpha minus 6 alpha square plus 9 equals 0. So if I see here I can just equate 4 plus 4 alpha equals 0. That gives me 4 equals minus 4 alpha and from there I get alpha as minus 1. And the second part if I solve it this determinant alpha square plus 9 minus 2 alpha minus 6 equals 0. So that gives me alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 9 plus 6. So if I see the value of determinant 1 into alpha square plus 9 minus minus 1 into this. So it should be actually not minus. It should be plus. So it gives you plus 2 alpha and plus 9 and minus 6 that makes some plus 3. Now if I want to find the values of alpha but at the end we know that we need to just find sum of all the values of alpha. So instead of finding the actual values of alpha with this, I can just find the sum of roots that is sum of the values of alpha and that's given by minus b by a where your general equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So from here I get minus b which is minus 2 a which is 1 so that gives you minus 2 as the answer. 
So you get some of the roots that is alpha's value is minus two. Now, if I add all the values of alpha, the first was minus one. The second was telling me that sum of all the other roots is minus two. That gives me sum of all the values of alpha is minus three. And if I just find the absolute value of that sum, that's mod of minus three and that if I figure out comes out to become three. So you get the answer to the question which is asked to us here that the answer is three. But if I talk about the answer choices also, it is given to us A3, B4, C2 and D5. So from here, I understand that the correct answer to this question is option A. So A becomes the correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the properties of determinants. So if I first see, I just found out the product of the two matrices AB, I got this matrix. Then I just found the determinant of that matrix and equated it with zero. That gave me the value of alpha and that alpha turned out to have two values. One is minus one and for the next equation, I got some of them as minus two. So once I found sum of all the values of alpha that gave me minus three and absolute value of that gave me three. So that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer here. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.